Yeah, we lost both, huh? Four steel walls container. This time you don't wake up. Instead, the ghost of the station, that shifting skeletal ring, surrounds you. For a moment, you are gone, absent from your own body, stretched out across a colorless void. Then the connections begin to establish themselves, threads tucking on the edge of your mind. These threads become vectors of exchange and then extensions. As you feel your thoughts slipping away down them, dissolving into the millions of distributed nodes they connect to, you see the station. No, you feel the station like a web of texture in a smooth black liquid. We're more of the touching. We're going to touch it. You find a point in the station and you connect to it, pulse through it, follow loops and paths under and around it. You touch more points than you have fingers. And then you try in a moment of impulsiveness to connect to them. The flow passes through you so rapidly that you feel yourself being carried with it, splitting and separating, eddying and gathering. Is it eddying or edding? We'll just say eddying. Every time I play a game like this, there's always like a few words that I either haven't seen before or I haven't seen in a long time or I've, that I've just never pronounced out loud. <laughs> As you do, things occur to you. Things that you can't possibly know. You reach out, try to grasp them. Try to touch them too. You notice a tugging feeling pulling at you incess insistently. As if it were a small child, somehow it is pulling in two directions at once. You look down. All of a sudden, everything shuts off. You come back trembling into this unfamiliar body, both yours and not yours all at once. You find yourself standing in the container, eyes now open to the dark steel walls. You feel a change within you, a shift. You close your eyes for a second and you feel it waiting there. The station splayed out across your mind. A storm of connective nodes waiting to be explored. And then... It is gone. Oh, those rolls are not too good. <laughs> Should we just do like a sunbathe for one of the actions? I cannot... Okay. I see. So if I go back to the empty container, I... Oh, I can end cycle. Okay. But I think we want to take advantage, right? Ah, uh, okay. This is the on the clock, right? So every time we rest, this is going to go forward. That's why we might not want to, to rest. Well, let's keep doing this. I don't see why not. Wait, maybe I should check just to see if I can get this. Oh, I see. It's going to be two more cycles. Cycle clock. I don't really like the choice of making this white because you can't really read it if it's a light background, but that's the style. And this, oh, I see. These have gone forward, right? This feels like uh, we're going to do a, a safe round. And you'll salvage. Neutral. Plus one, plus back in business, plus 10 cryo. That's good. So what is, uh, let's try this action just to see what happens. Fifty fifty. Hey, oh, negative outcome. Negative outcome plus energy. Oh, I see. So even it, so it's always, pretty much always positive. I guess because it's safe. Let's do this one more time. Neutral. Okay. So if I want to get food, do I need to die? Order fungus. 
Oh, we popped cryo in there. Emphasis spice fungus is one of the few things potent enough to stimulate your limited ta taste sensors. It's incredible stuff. Fungus fan. <laughs> Emphasis doesn't trust people easily, but he notices his regulars. Regular customers in his own quiet way. And then what do we need to get in here? 60 cryo. So should I? Maybe, maybe I'll just rest this time around. We'll get some food next time. Again, the skeletal ring of the station fills your mind. It sparks with glittering lights, like stars reflected in a winter lake. It is clearer, crisper than before. The threads still pull, but you remain in place, flickering in the flow. I wonder if these are always the same or if they depend on other things that you do. Between the threads, you see bright shapes, caches of shimmering light beneath transparent crystal forms. You follow the path of a thread across the ring through these forms, then leaping off into the void. You begin to understand these are nodes and connections, a map of information, of communication. There are so many layers, so many loops that it seems almost impossible to parse, but you begin to try. We're definitely a node kind of guy, focus on the nodes. The nodes are glassy, bright, but in all this flow, the only solid and fixed points you approach one, a pyramid, or a triangle. Dimensions are difficult here, and lean close to it. Inside, shifting layers conceal a tangle of threads, a meeting point of exchange. But before you can glimpse inside, the glass clouds and hardens, cutting you off. The threads are nodes, passages, and puzzle boxes. One leads to another. There is so much here, so many answers, so many questions. All you need to do is follow the paths and open the boxes. You look out across this ghost landscape exchange and see an opportunity. But then that insistent tugging you get, pulling at you. You look down again and see two lines, two threads pulling in different directions, as if they were tied around you. The second. The second thread leads in, pulling deep into the station. Your gaze follows it, and this time you see something. A sphere shimmering above a strange angular body. A pulse shoots out from it, passing over you like a torch beam. Testing you. Tasting you. The first? The first thread leads out, away from the station, into the inky black. Someone out there is tracking you, hunting you, following the thread to you. They are in a ship, and the ship is approaching ever closer with each cycle. You open your eyes. Time is short. Ooh, we got really good rolls. Get to know Emphis. Emphis loves two things, stories and food. Maybe if you supply him with both, you can hear his story. Okay. Hunted. Someone out there is tracking you, following your trail. It won't be long before they arrive. One, that's negative? But it's a cycle clock, yeah, okay. The cloud, something has changed inside you. You can now access the data cloud of the eye, a network of decaying protocols and data caches. Well, well there you can use dice and items to access systems and extract data. But be careful, these networks are old and strange. Click the eye button at the top of the screen to toggle the see on and off. Oh, cool. Have an age agent. Keynote 0831. 0102. Have an age gate. Solheim gate. Another agent. Another keynote. Gadigan uh, agent. Ok, 
Okay, so one more cycle for the stabilizer. If I do this one more time, local knowledge will go up, eh? You know what? Let's get some food to start off with. Ah, oh, okay. Neutral outcome. We got three energy. Oh, I was kind of hoping to have another conversation, but I guess not. This music's cool. I feel like I should do some stuff that's more risky because I got such good rolls. Maybe I should wait for a six to do something like that, though. Could explore the rotunda, though. But shouldn't we try to complete this? And this is the so this is the only place we can progress that, right? Yeah, okay. Well, let's go for it. Now why would I want to do this instead of that? They're both repeatable. But they both feed into the same area. 100% positive. Oops. Maybe there is no reason. So that's maxed out. I can't do them anymore. Okay, makes sense. Ah, oh, we're talking to him. Okay. You arrive into a buzz of activity at the yard. Red blinking lights flash across the vast dark shape. Suspended below the dome, they flicker across scorched hull plates and bent structures, spilling from holes in the twisted shape. The cutter is huge and has been torn apart in some violent encounter. She's beauty, isn't she? Drago stands to the side, focused on the hulking ship as it is lowered into the yard. Looks ugly to me. Drago laughs. That, my friend, is a, gr is a great scrap. I should thank you. This place was on its last legs when you turned up. And now look at this. The ship descends slowly, its interior visible through multiple hull breaches. He struggled to gather the same enthusiasm as Dragos for this monster's craft. He can't help but think of what became of its crew. What happened? What do you mean? He glances at you. I managed to convince our salvager friends to give it to me on credit. That's what happened. No, 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 no. What happened to the ship? Not my concern, he shrugs. The ship creaks like a calving iceberg. As it reaches the base of the yard, Dragos is visibly excited. I know I said you shouldn't stick around, but I'm going to need some help with this one. The drones start to crawl over the hulk, their lights illuminating flashes of dented hull. Watching you wonder if you arrived in a similar fashion. Locked inside that container, the wreck of the SNR freighter lowered into the yard like a corpse ready to be butchered? Or was the container delivered to Dragos on its own? A boom from your rebirth into this strange station. Shudder. Perhaps if you could learn something about this ship, you might be able to trace the path that led you to this yard. Drago squeezed your shoulder. After these past cycles, I think we are up to it. What do you think? You see the fading name of the ship emblazoned on its side. Winter Light. Let's do it. He claps you on the back. Glad to hear it. Come back in a few and we can make a start. A real beauty, Dragos repeats, perhaps just to himself. You take one last look at the shattered ship as the drones start cutting. 
and then slip out of the yard, feeling suddenly cold in the empty passage. Drive complete, plus one upgrade point. Ah, character and upgrades. You completed your first drive. Each drive completed unlocks an upgrade point. To spend an upgrade on upgrading your character. Access your character menu via the arrow button at the top right of the screen. So we said engage. Chance to gain energy after any engage action. Which also leads to obsessive haggler. All cryo actions are discounted by 20%. Uh, or we could save to go for hard to kill. Keep two dice even when condition is breaking. I think engineer would be kind of cool for us too. Work with machines and physical tools. But I think first we're going to... It says chance to gain energy after any engage action. Chance to gain random scrap item on engineer actions. Let's go engage. What is this that we've got? Is this is like a. Oh, this just our collar. It kind of. It almost looks like a little buddy, like a little stuffed character <laughs> with that arm here. Huh. I didn't really look at the character too closely. I really like the details. Oh, and we have one of our uh, sleeves off. Neat. Yeah, we look like we've been through some some stuff. I guess this is confirm. Or close. Uh, we can't do this yet. If we want to repay him. We go back to the yard. Let's see what's new here. Repeatable action forensic trawl, which requires into it. Investigating the winter light means picking through its systems and structures with care. It won't pay, but you may find answers. And that progresses the winter light. The wrecked cutter Dragos has brought into salvage has a history to discover if you're curious. Or Cutter Salvage, which is a repeatable action, but it's very dangerous. Shipbreaking is tougher than slicing up loose salvage. But Dragos is happy to pay you a fixed wage if you're up to it. And that contributes to yard clearance. History or no, the ship is salvage, as Drago always says. Break it down. Move it on. And then uh, this progresses Dragos' nerve. That's on a clock, though. Drago seems increasingly nervous about your presence in the yard. You're not sure he's going to hold his nerve much longer. What? What did we do? Could work in the shipyard. This seems like a good idea. Haul materials. As a newcomer, you can only gain favor by grabbing a load of materials and asking the nearest yard hand where to take them. Let's do it. It's a six. Plus two yard hand, plus one energy. Okay. We don't need energy though. That's something to remember. So that was kind of a mistake. What do we want to do next? already done that we want to make some cash right so we'll get paid for this so let's do it positive outcome yard clearance plus 16 correct we have 60 now should we do it the low end gate After some spacers caused some trouble in the low end, y Yatagen have imposed a toll for entry. Wait, do I have to pay this every time? 
You know what? Let's wait till I have some dice and then we'll do it. Um, because if I have to pay that every time, it'll be an awful waste if I need to use some dice to do something. Let's end the cycle. One click towards Hunted, which is not giving me a lot of confidence. Oh, as you close up, a voice echoes down the corridor towards you. We got two fours and a two. It's not, I mean, it could be worse. Sleeper, wait up! Turn away. Fang is coming down the corridor towards you. A wonky grin on his broad face. Hey, glad I caught you! Do I know you? He grins. You do now! He puts a hand on your arm. I've seen you hanging around. Just want to chat. You staying in that thing? He nods back to the container, shaking his head. Rough. It can be hard to get a start on the eye. He looks away down the passage. What was it old Erlen said? The eye opens for us all. Nice idea, but well, not always very practical. He glances back at you. We do our best, but it isn't easy. We? You pass together into the main walkway. Have an age. We're all one dysfunctional family. Feng puts an arm around you. I'm not part of the security branch, though. Don't worry, I am with systems. Have an age? We heard about them before. Think of us as an administrative association for the eye. Depending on who you talk to, we either emerged as a response to or a continuation of Andre Erlin's original union. He smiles. Personally, I avoid the topic. He stops you in the quiet passage. Look, that's not what I'm here to discuss. I've been seeing some unusual network activity and, well, I know a little about you sleepers. I have a small proposition for you. He glances around. But, well, this is not the place for it. I have an office just across the way. Give me a cycle or two to prepare, then, when you're settled, stop by. He lowers his voice and gives you a dork look. Dork look? <laughs> Freudian slip, because I consider him to be a bit of a dork. He is a Haven Age systems engineer. Sounds pretty dorky to me. He lowers his voice and gives you a dark look. In truth, I need you. If what they say is true about you sleepers, well, there's work to be done. He pats you on the back, his voice bright, and his dark look suddenly gone. Stay clean, sleeper. He walks, he walks off down the passage, raising a hand in farewell. Oh yeah, I forgot about this, too. Sh uh, let's just click on this and see what happens. This node pulses faintly. Ah, uh, I, I probably should have checked this out. Data actions allow you to extract data from the networks of the eye. They work like dice actions, but in order to unlock them, you must match your dice to the one displayed on the right of the action. That's cool! You have something to do with your crappy dice! If you have a plus one or plus two modifier in the interface skill, you'll be given more possible dice to match. You can use any dice that matches the dice displayed. Once unlocked, the data can be extracted. That's cool. So it could be, I have plus zero, so it has to be a one. Let's take a look at the other ones. So it has to be a three, which we don't have. And this, that's interface skill. Slot Solheim Cipher. This gate conceals a network of systems which have been untouched since the Solheim collapse. We have to input one Solheim Cipher, which we do not have. Maybe we can acquire it somehow. An agent. Have an age member is broadcasting on the open network from here, leaving them open to data extraction. Let's do it. Complete the sequence. Bypass. We're hacking up. Have an age data. Cache of raw data from have an age hardware. Okay. So that one's gone. So one. A lone connection feeds into this isolated node. Its so last access timestamp is 1,000 cycles ago. A 
to uh, broadcasting on the open network. It's the same kind of thing. Data, the data here is part of a cache tucked away during the collapse. Who hid this and for what purpose? Seems to be ones and twos. And a gate. This gate keeps traffic out of this Havenage shipyard's internal network. The correct cipher can grant you access. So this is Havenage cipher, and all I have is the data. I think, I, I think I've checked all of them. Uh, we can do Sabine. Let's do that before we try the gate. The first thing you see on entering is the glint of Toshiro's implants, like a cat's eyes in the dark of the corridor. He nods you in as you arrive at Sabine's door. The entryway is still dark and you push through the sheeting into the surgery. I have it! Sabine stands with a case open in front of them. A set of vials lined up inside separated by foam inserts. They pick one up, rotating it in the warm light. I have no idea how yet again. They trail off. We should treat this with caution. It looks authentic, but I have no idea if it really is what it appears to be. I don't care. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but we need to be careful. Unfortunately, I'm not sure we have another choice. They gesture for you to sit on the bed. <laughs> we're, just, we're just going for it, right? <laughs> the stabilizer works under a similar principle to an immunosuppressant. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, that's a long word. Similar to an immunosuppressant in a transplant operation in that it stops your body from rejecting the unfamiliar part of itself. In the case of your frame, the unfamiliar part is each of your biosynthetic organ groups, which over time are identified by your body as foreign material and therefore must be eliminated. Sabine holds up a vial of the would-be stabilizer. However, unlike an immunosuppressant, the stabilizer doesn't do this by limiting your entire immune system. Instead, it re-encodes your biosynthetic organs with new protein chains which act as passcodes within your immune system. The stabilizer refreshes those passcodes, keeping your frame from rejecting all of its own organs. Which means? Which means the stabilizer should be able to encode any organic or biosynthetic matter to be accepted by your immune system. They glance away, at least if the stabilizer is genuine. The only way to know for sure is to inject the vial. They begin readying the syringe. I will start with a small dose to limit the risk. Okay, let's do it. Sabine cracks the glass neck of the stabilizer vial and uses the syringe to extract a fraction of the liquid. They tap the syringe and you watch as if any sign might emerge from the clear liquid. You barely feel the needle, your frame registering the initial injection, but with little response. A sensation begins to spread from the site. A fizzing, trembling wave that disperses through your arm with incredible speed. Your vision goes white, and when it returns, Sabine appears encased in shards of sparkling light that slowly fade into darkness as you settle back against the bed. You swim in darkness, muffled noises like an argument heard from underwater, prickling waves of cold. This doesn't sound good. When you sit back up, Sabine is sitting in a chair by the window, facing away from you, backlit by the glow of their slate. Awake? What happened? The stabilizer is genuine. They sit down beside the bed. I don't know how Yatagan acquired a case of this stuff, but they did. Sabine looks troubled, distracted. You should rest some more, but you are going to have to do that somewhere else. They gesture to the door. I have other patients, sorry. Sabine nods towards the case. I'm afraid I can't offer you any more doses. You are going to need to pay for your next dose. Silence fills the room, and they return to their glowing slate. Looking around the room, it seems different somehow. As if things have moved or shifted. You wonder how long you have been out. Sabine? Nothing comes free, sleeper. Remember that. You manage to get to your feet and wander out into the hallway. The queue stretches down the flickering corridor. Toshiro stands impatiently by the door and fixes you with a glare as you leave. You lower your eyes as you stumble past, somehow faintly aware of the station spinning beneath you. 